Good afternoon and welcome to another Citroen video, my 2008 Citroen C4 Grand Picasso and in this video we're going to be dealing with that. So as you can see, the top of the glove box has uh, been peeling away, it's probably the glue, it's, uh, it's just uh, given up after 20, 12 years. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this glove box lid off, and I've emptied all junk out of it, and we'll, we'll see if we can get this off and then we'll uh, see if we can stick it back together with some glue, so let's get started. Well, I don't know how well you're going to see this, but... We'll try and get the camera balanced on the steering column. So I thought you needed to take this out, but you don't. You, you take this out. And don't worry about that, it's not connected to anything. I think this is for CD changer, which was an option, even on the exclusive model. Now there's two screws there, which are T20, so get them out. I've been getting with me a uh, impact driver, but even with the small one, it's a bit, it's a bit overkill. So we'll do it by hand. So that's one out. We'll just put them in here and then we'll get this next one out. to do this and, uh, and video it at the same time. Let's see if I can get myself in a better position, that's it, that's more like it. Off bend, just put it there, and then it should just lift up. There's another screw, yeah. There's another, there's, there's a couple more I didn't spot straight away. So, it's four T20 screws. need to undo all four. <sighs> I should have got me neck pick up tool that made the job a bit easy but never mind. Thank <laughs> you. 
that's all four screws out. Now I've got to disconnect the lid from here. And I cannot for the life of me remember how I did it before because I've done I had these off before. So just try try a trim tool. That time is more screws. No. So I can see four screws. So why is it not coming out? I missed something. I cannot remember how, how this came out. Right, I'm not going to struggle anymore. I'll, uh, I'm going to have to uh, probably look at, I'll find another YouTube video and I'll, I'll really disconnect this because I cannot remember how I did it and I'll be here all day at this rate. So, give me a moment. Well, in the end it was, it was quite simple. It literally just prizes off and uh, I managed to prize it off off camera. So, with that out of the way, it should be a simple matter of removing it. Yeah, that's it. And it's out. So, with that, I can uh, take it in. We'll take it into the shed and we'll get this uh, get this stuck down. Now with it in the shed, it's a bit easier to work on, and you can see where where the glue's failed. So, first thing I do is scrape off as much of this old glue as I can. This handy little scraper. I don't think it was glued on all the way, it was glued at the edges, but what I'll do is I'll probably add a bit more glue on. It's just a bit awkward to get in here with the scraper. That may well be better off with the Stanley blade. So that's all, all ready to take some uh, new glue. Uh, choice is either between super glue or gorilla glue, so I think I'll be gorilla glue, but because I, I did, I did actually use gorilla glue on other glue boxes, that, that'd all come apart. And you've got to be careful with this stuff, it is absolutely messy and it's difficult to get off your hands. It's worse than the the uh, the uh, spray foam, you know, the, the expanding foam. So, what I'll need to do is I'm gonna glue it on then hold it down with some tape just just until the glue sets I'll leave that overnight and then it's it's ready to go back on the car once that's done so I'll just find some suitable tape I should have some masking tape somewhere and then we can start sticking all this back together so all I managed to find was some normal cellar tape but it's better than nothing it'll do the job I've decided to use Gorilla Glue now you you're wondering why I've got gloves on because this stuff gets all over your hands and it's an absolute pig to get off. And yes, I've been there, done it, and had the t shirt and all that, so let's uh, get gluing.
this is horrible tape I'll find something else more suitable well I found some uh, some better tape and hopefully that should should hold it until the glue's set so we'll just leave that for however long and we'll come back to it once the glue's set and then hopefully it can go back in the car so it's a few hours later and it looks like the glue's dried so just pull this tape off uh, let's see if it's actually worked I would say it was definitely better than before. Uh, probably needs a bit of a clean. So we'll just give it a quick, quick wipe down. I think might have some uh, stuff. I've got some cleaning stuff in here. Let's have a look. Uh, let's clean it. Uh, we'll try some turtle wax cockpit shine. Give it. A Quick blast, let's have a look. Might as well clean it while we're here. There we go. It's now ready to go back on the car. It is the next day, and I'm in the car park at the local Aldi. And um, as you can see, it's a lot better. Probably need to stick it down a bit there, but. Definitely better than it was before, so I'd call that a fix. So that's the end of this particular video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, ring that notification bell, and you get notified of videos. And don't forget to select all, and you'll get notified every time uh, there's an upload. Questions and comments, you know where to put them. As ever, thanks for watching, and I'll see you.